all too familiar position, but um, really proud of our guys. I just, I know I keep saying that, but you know, you look at our efforts in games that are, um, don't mean as much for us right now. And to see our guys go out and battle the way they did, especially after a rough start, um, as a coaching staff, you just are, you, you, it's, it's hard not to be. It's not hard. It's 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 hard not to admire guys like that. Uh, and uh, very emotional start to the game. I thought that's what did it to us. I think we were all trying so hard, and we were getting in the shots we wanted. They just weren't going in. And I think if we make a couple of those early, then it's a little bit of a closer game where we're not fighting back and then have to kind of come up with some magic at the end. So with that, I'll open it up for questions. It'll probably it'd be easier. Oh, well, where do I start? I mean, um, you know, all of you know how, how dire the situation was when we first started here, and Joe signed on, you know, almost immediately. I mean, we had to win him over, but, uh, the, I mean, it, it starts right there. You know, kids who nowadays want to go to programs that are already um, established because it's just an easier road, and, and Joe, Boy, he could have gone to a lot of other places that have had some better recent history. And he chose to come to Oregon State. And he chose to play for me. And he's just gotten better every single season. And I know he's, he claims that he didn't start listening to me until he was two and a half years in. But he was started listening before then. He, he just listened more later. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a tribute to him because, you know, not everybody's going to have a chance to play professional basketball. Not everybody's going to have a chance to, to be, a, you know, investment banker. But what you want to do as a person is you want to grow, especially during your college years. And he has grown into a, a man. And uh, it's just heartwarming. It's heartwarming. And um, on and off the court, on and off the court. I did. <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me. I met his father uh, last year in Utah, and um, I knew he was going to be here. And you know, he hasn't had a great relationship with him. So that growing is, that's part of it, you know? Just happy to be a part of it. Not Olaf's fault whatsoever, first and foremost. Um, guys dunk before the game all the time, before the refs come up. And I'm, you know, from what he told me, he was in the hallway and he saw it, so come on. But the rule's a rule. Can you talk about the technical you got? It seemed like you were yelling about someone grabbing a jersey. Yeah, he grabbed, Olaf's jer he grabbed Olaf's jersey and pulled it all the way out right in front of the ref. And he... he Gave me a tech for yelling it across the court. Some some refs are more um, offended by how loud I can be. See, they don't realize I used to be a traitor, so I had to yell all day long so people can hear me even when the band's going on. And some people take that personally. Uh, I will tell you, though, I am still 100% consistent. Whenever I get a tech, it's because I'm right. I have never been wrong and gotten a tech. <laughs> You never get a tech for being wrong because it doesn't upset the person who calls the tech. You get techs for being right loudly. Well, in in order to talk about the final 4.3 seconds, I want to talk. I, I I have to talk about how we got there. I mean, the fight to come back um, in a situation where. You know, you're playing may, what, what, what arguably is the hottest team in the league um, and fighting against other odds, the emotions of the day. Um, the fact that I'm, you know, 
get get a tech, I know that affects the game. You know, it affects the officiating sometimes. You're you you're fighting against um, the other teams, the fact that they're an NCAA tournament bubble type team, uh, and then to get it and cut it back, and Devon making those two foul shots, which isn't a which isn't a guarantee to get us to that 4.3 seconds or whatever it was. Uh, we just call a play that we have at the end of the game. When you only have, when you only have that much time, you got to put the ball into a, only a couple of people's hands who can dr shoot off the dribble. So that's Ahmad and Roberto, and they were completely full fronting Roberto. So we knew they were going to let Ahmad get it, and then he was going to have to come up and and pull up and shoot a shot. But that that last play, uh, I told them they can't get it wrong. As long as they don't turn it over, they can't get it wrong. You you got the game to where you have a chance to win. Now you just got to try and win it. Um, but um, um, that was the. It was nothing special about it. Something we you know we knew what we were going to do. And when we when we get the actually the play before when we got them to to they were going to take the, the the shot clock down. What I liked was that we got the rebound in games before. We wouldn't have even gotten the rebound to have a chance at a shot at it. So there's some growth there. So was the way they defended Roberto, is that what dictated that Ahmad got the ball? Was that what they called for? Uh, it, it was the way they defended it. Yeah, you know, it, it, if you, you guys pay attention to what I'm doing, there's always options to what we do. You know, that's the beauty of the way we play. There's always options for everybody. There, there were options for Roberto and Ahmad, and it, the way they played Roberto, it ended up in Ahmad's hands. Was there an option for Joe, or was there not enough time to get the ball in? No, no, because he was taking it out. He's our best inbounder, so it was no way we would be able to get the ball for him to get it and then run down. So, and we, we only, I don't know what I'm going to do next year, but he's the only guy we let take the ball out in situations like that. So I guess I got to think about that. Uh, any time to running after Cobb's miss is there? Instead of calling the Yeah, yeah, but the way the rebound was going, I didn't want to throw the ball away. I wanted to make sure we got a shot. Now, when I do run, then people say any any chance you call a timeout. So, you know, can't have it both ways. Uh, it, it's it, not as much as people think, and I got to tell you, uh, Beaver Nation. I've, I've not gotten. I've gotten some of the nicest emails from people who are worried about my well-being, and that I I finally shared that with the team because apparently I don't I don't read what you guys write, and I do that on purpose. But no, so no offense. Um, but apparently. People were th thinking that I might be on the ledge, and I've gotten some very, very kind and nice emails about me and about the team and about the players. And um, and my, my, there's no toll being taken on me other than I want those guys to win because I care about them and they work so hard. When you come out and see our practices every day. It's fun to practice with our guys. They practice hard, and they, they're trying their best to do what's right. Now, we've had some missteps off the court, but on the court, it feels like this team is, they're starting to understand how much work it takes to be a really good team and win these close games. So the toll on me is fine. I mean, there, there is no real toll on me. No, not necessarily. I don't know. Where are you from? I don't know who you are. What's your name? Uh, Ken. How many games have you seen of ours? This is the first one live. Oh, okay. Well, so when I got here, we lost games by 20, right? Then the next year, we lost game. We were down by 20, and then we come back, and then we lose by 12. Each year, it gets a little bit better. Now we're in every game. Now you have to learn how to be in every game because we're good at going from 20 to 8. What we've got to get good at is being even the whole game and then winning it. It's learned behavior. And while you may think they should know it by now, this is a process. And these guys would never ask me that question because they've been around me. They, they've heard me say this. You know, 
But then, the, well, see, no, we don't talk about it because we already know what we do in those kind of situations. Had we missed our foul shots, we would have done that. But when you're, when you're, you want to always keep it a one possession game with a chance to win unless you don't have a chance to win. So we wouldn't have fouled them to let them go up three and all we could do is tie. That the, in, in, instinctively, that, that's, that's, a, that's kind of, that's a demoralizing feeling. So we just wanted to defend and have a shot with, it was, the, it was seven seconds and uh, the ref had his back to me. I'm yelling time out, so I know a couple seconds went off. That's why, I, and I asked him to look at it so we could get the seven, but it had gotten down to four point, whatever it was. Um, we had, you know, you, know how, you know how I feel about being up three and foul and all. We have, we have all of that so that we don't have to make that decision in the heat of the game because you always make the wrong decision in the heat of the game. So we want to know what we're going to do ahead of time. Now, had Devon missed his two, we'd have fouled right away and hoped that he would miss a foul shot, try to get a quick shot, and then foul right away again. But we didn't have to because he made his two. You guys have had so many last second kind of possessions this year. Do you feel concerned at all with managing players' ego and who gets the shots? Did no, no, no. I, I mean, if you notice, we have, we, we're almost too nice to each other. I mean, there's, there's really no ego. I mean, sometimes I want Roberto, even though he's, he wasn't shooting the ball well, I want him to take more shots instead of trying to get to the basket sometimes. Same with Ahmad. The guys who we trust scoring, we want them to score. Um, and the guys who don't score as much, they don't mind the fact that other guys score much. I mean, it's almost the, the perfect situation with, from an ego standpoint. Um, we, there, there are no prima donnas on this team. Um, no, they're, 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 I, no, they're all really good kids, and um, they just want to win. They don't care who ends up making the shot. Um, you know, no, I hadn't really thought about it. We just have to keep playing hard and, and keep executing and, um, you know, you can't, you can't get down early when you're on the road like we did today. Um, you can't do that anyway, but it's just harder to come back, you know. Um, I don't know, did, uh, did the guard, did, uh, did they, have they played yet or do they play tonight? Okay, so you know a lot's going to depend on our, our game plan is going to depend on if um, uh, artist plays. Um, you know they've been saying day to day, and if he doesn't play today, I'm sure he's going to play Thursday. Um, but our game plan is going to probably be this be, be the same. We just have to handle our own business for the most part, and then don't let them go crazy in any way, shape, or form. And it's going to be a tough game. That game against them is always hard fought and fun to be, be, be involved with. And um, yeah, I guess I, I really hadn't thought, I haven't really thought about, I can't give you any good tidbits because I've, I've been so focused on this weekend. But, you know, we just have, we, we have to, I mean, Singler, great artist, great. I mean, they've got a really good team. Kazemi's playing well, doesn't make any mistakes. I mean, it's a good, good solid group of guys. Without giving away my strategies, um, we just felt that going zone against them, we'd have a better shot at winning the game than if we went man to man the whole time. Um, you know, when when the team has a prolific scorer like Alan Crabb, you really have to figure out multiple ways of stopping them. And I thought Eric did a good job on the man to man, and then I think the entire team did a good job in the zone, knowing where he was. That it? All right.